Are you looking to learn more about needle felting needles? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to share with you the basics. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video, Types of Needle Felting Needles. My name is Iceland, and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos like this one, have needle felting tutorials, and share product reviews from time to time. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video, or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. And please share this video, like with all my videos, wherever you can if you think they might help someone too. Now today, let's talk more about needle felting needles. So to begin, they obviously come in different types, sizes, and shapes. Or you could even call it a design. Let me show you a little closer here. So besides the obvious that these are all different because they're in a different color-coded box, you will even notice on the tip of them that they are color-coded as well. I'm just showing you three different types here. Now these go from like... 10 to 20 different types of needle felting needles out there, if not even more. Different companies offer different ones. They have them coated with their own little charts and stuff. Try to show you a little better here that they're different length and that the barb print on them is even going to be different. And so these needle felting needles are going to be working differently with the types of wool that you use with them. Wool can be more fine and more coarse, roving and batting behave differently. And so a needle with a different print on it is going to behave differently with a type of wool. Some needles will work better with all wool and some needles you just won't feel like they're working with a type of wool. These are the main three that I have made all my projects with on my channel. And then you'll also see that you can get them in pin style where you can use up from anywhere to two to three to five to even ten needles or more. Some work in a punching action. Needle felting is just such a general textile craft art and art as well. So there's many different tools that you can use when it comes to needle felting. And again, if you want to know more about any of these needles that I'm talking about, I have links down in the description below and you can learn more there. And if you're wanting to know anything more about those needle felting pins, I do have a couple videos and I'll be sure and link them down in the description below for you there too. But to keep things simple for you guys, if you're a beginner, you can't go wrong with any one of these needles. And one thing that is really important to point out is I like to use my speed needle, which is this one for when I add on color. And this is the one that I absolutely love for shaping and just using on all my projects. It's a very effective needle. And then this needle from Clover USA um, is a pretty hefty needle, but it's also very delicate as well. It's important that you store your needles in a safe place where no one can get injured by them. So if they don't come with a case, make sure you're putting them into a piece of foam or something too. Safety is important, especially if you're like me and who has a little one, and then I even keep them stored up and away on my table up high safe where they can't get to them. So when it comes to gauge sizes of needles, you'll see it go from anywhere from 32 to 40, and that's going to depend on how much wool it will pull as well, depending on the gauge that you get. And then a few of the common designs that you'll see or shape will be like a star, spiral, reverse, or even triangle type needle felting needles. And that's talking about how when you see here on the end, how the barbs are printed into the needle end. And also a key thing to remember when using your needle is you don't need to pierce too deep into the wool. Your area of action is going to be that part of the needle where the barbs begin and end. So use that to your advantage. Another great thing to know when getting needle felting needles is get multiple needles. They will break and you will need to replace them and you won't want to get stuck in the middle of a project without needle felting needles. So along with this needle felting needle, I also recommend using wool batting when you first begin because it is a lot more flexible and easier to work with than wool roving. It'll help you find your craft a little easier, faster. And you can see this needle in action here when I'm smoothing the pink on the felted heart that I was making. It really is important for your needle felting creations to look smooth and finished in the end and using the right needle is really going to help you achieve that look. So if you're finding maybe needle felting isn't working for you, maybe try using a different needle it might help and also remember needle felting does take a ton of patience so take your time with the wool you have to do the entangling of those fibers with the needles and let the barbs be the tools to the advantage to help you achieve it better and faster all right that's it that's everything that i wanted to share with you about needle felting needles i hope you learned something new if you did please be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and share this video where you can also, if there's something you'd like to see me felt next, drop it down in the comments below. I might just make it. Thank you so much for watching. Happy felting, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!